Well guys, today we're going to work on a 98 Chevy Venture minivan and we're going to see if we can get it to stop running hot. We're going to replace the thermostat and the temperature sensor since we're right there and uh, see if we can get it going again. It's my daily driver so uh, I'd like to save gas and get it going. Let's go! Well, I already pulled the uh, the reclaim unit off. It's set right here. It just clamps on top of the uh, on top of this bar. Um, you can just take this this uh, hose off right here. This hose that's in there, it just pulls out, just pulls straight out, and then uh, then you can just basically pull that thing off. There's one little clip that's right up in this area. You can barely see it on camera, but um, Pull that little clip out. Uh, there's some some cars I've worked on before that that clip isn't even there, but the little the little clip is right here. You just pull out that. If you get some uh, some side cutters and you pull out, grab that little top and pull it up, just like a plastic a plastic rivet, really. Now. I've seen videos on this, and uh, I'm not gonna be. I'm not going to, I'm only taking off what I have to take off. Uh, what I'm going to try to do right now, I'm going to take off these two clips here for the two different sensors that are on here, mass airflow sensor and whatever sensor this is. Uh, <clears throat> unplug them and take them out of the way. And I'm going to try to get this boot off. I've already taken loose the, the clamp. I can get this boot off and get it out of the way. We'll see what kind of, uh, it looks like there's a PCB valve in here that needs to come out. So we'll get it up, swing it out of the way. So anyway, something else we have to do. Yeah, not really sure what that is. I always thought these were like a noise dampener thing, but that's, that's got a little close to the exhaust manifold and uh, melted a hole right in it. decided to go ahead and take off the little intake there um, it looks like it'll be a whole lot easier to get to that bolt uh, you can get to the bolt but uh, it's not easy it'd be easier to take off the intake so what I'm gonna try um, like I've seen on the internet before they take off that bracket the throttle bracket and all that first I'm gonna try taking off the intake with the bracket still attached and just fold it out of the way. Um, I, I try taking off as little as possible. Uh, that way the, it, there's a smaller chance for something to break. Uh, already it's, it's looking like I'm going to have to replace some hoses. There's two little hoses that run underneath there and they're a little bit bigger than uh, they, may, they may be like a 3 8 fuel line. Uh, but they're they're coolant lines, so I I don't have that in stock. I don't think so. I'll probably have to run to the auto parts store to pick that up. But anyway, that's what we're trying right now. I'm just going to take off the three bolts, 
for the intake, there's a 10 millimeter and two, let me see what they are here. Yeah, a 10 millimeter and two 13s. And we'll see how that goes. All right, I was looking like behind the little heater hose uh, bracket, there's a metal heater hose line that runs across there. I have a little bracket. There's a nut that holds that bracket onto a stud. You have to take that off, and then underneath that, there's another nut that holds the throttle body on. So, therefore, you had to take them two lines off, them two uh, heater hose lines and uh, them are the ones that I'm thinking I'm gonna have to replace. I should replace them anyway. but it's my biggest pain right now and I'm telling you right now guys for me on this van this bracket is getting cut off I'm not dealing with that no more um, I can see where this bracket is put on here um, for for assembly when they're putting this this whole system together it's put to hold this pipe in place until they hook up everything else but after the hoses are all hooked up to it it's not needed. It, do, it doesn't need that bracket. And that's the biggest pain in the butt. I'm also going to clean up that, uh, that throttle body there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that needs to be all cleaned up. So I need to soak all this. Um, I went ahead and I took the, the, the bracket off. It's only two 10 millimeter bolts on the very top to take that uh, that bracket off. But I did not take it off of the throttle body as you see. I, I'm sorry. I didn't take it off the throttle body as you see. I just left it all hooked up and I just folded it around here. Now the only reason I might want to take it off is for cleaning purposes. But I think I can put just a bowl underneath it and clean it up good enough right there. Now, right there, as you can see, is the gooseneck, and you can see both bolts. So the back bolt is going to be a harder bolt to get to, but like I said, it's slotted. So once I take off the, uh, take out the bolt or loosen up the bolt, it should lift right off of there. Um, I'm going to confirm that right now. If I can get my finger down there, yes, 
Yes, it's slotted behind there. So, anyway, I will get to taking them out next, and we'll we'll get to this sucker. There's right there is my uh, uh, thermostat switch. <laughs> I didn't pull this bolt all the way out I only pulled it out far enough to uh, to get the thermostat out but let me clean my hands and I'll show you that wasn't it wasn't close it was pretty far I had to pull it out so as you see I didn't take the hose off no need to take the hose off the gooseneck guys uh, I don't, Everybody does it. I don't see why you do it. All you got to do is fold it out of the way um, But there's the bolt down in the bottom. I only took it out that far and I was able to get the, uh, the Thermostat out now what I'm gonna do when I put it back in is I'm gonna put some uh, Probably Permatex around that rubber right there the back of the rubber some black number two pliable non-hardening Permatex I've used that ever since my dad used to use that so I'm gonna put some of that on there and it'll stick it in there enough to uh, to hold it while I sneak that that uh, gooseneck back down on top of that and that'll be fine uh, I've got to make a trip to the auto parts store for the heater hoses I do have right here I have the, the thermostat and the sending unit so I'm gonna go ahead and change on them right now and get at least get that done. Yeah, it looks like I needed a wobble extension. Yeah, that looks pretty bad there. And Where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on, I can't get 
keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back Let's before go. we blew it all I know that things seem bad but they could be much worse There's always someone else who has a greater curse a greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and mirth Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first I wanna feel again, I need a couple friends I never really understood just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense, don't know the consequence The volatility of life, my only confidence Is this an argument, or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this Is this is this an argument, or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all gets plugged up that makes a difference. That'll make a difference with your idle. So, all that makes a difference. So, we need to get that that ring cleaned up now. Now that I've got down to the nitty gritty, I'm gonna see if I can get me a toothbrush or a wire brush. See that now guys that's more how it should look see how that's nice and clean there's no definite line in there I mean there's a little bit of residual in there but it's clean so you don't have to worry about that that throttle sticking like it was before and all that nonsense and having a junky idle That'll help all that. The outside doesn't matter a whole lot. Around the spring here, I tried to clean that because that can get gummed up and mess you up a little bit. Let me show you guys inside here. See what it looks like now. I, uh, I went ahead and I got that. Sorry about the bouncy camera there. I had a bug crawling on my throat. Anyway, I got it clean as I could. I kept spraying in that EGR port there until I didn't get any more trash out. It was coming out dark, 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 dark brown. And I kept spraying until I didn't get anything but clear coming out. So it's nice and clean. Um, I cleaned on up in the intake there, sprayed up and let it let it uh, let it roll back here. Got all the trash out. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Uh, the carburetor or the 
carburetor, the throttle body. It's all it's all nice and clean now. I think there's one little speck in there. I'd get that. Ugh, can't. My old back ain't what it used to be. But uh, yeah, it's nice and clean now. That one little black speck is bugging the crap out of me now. So let me, let me get that out of there. cans of carburetor cleaner to a can of brake cleaner now so we'll let that just sit in there and soak its way on through that'll be one of the last things to go on anyway uh, next thing is to put the thermostat in all right I got the thermostat here I'm gonna put a little bit of this permatex on here but first I mean Where's my little screwdriver at? I need to clean off that mating surface over here. I need to clean this one too. This is uh, this is pretty bad. I got some memory cloth to take care of that. this cute little box of emery cloth on the old Amazonian there for uh, like under 20 bucks I thought it was pretty neat putting this in fellas just to just to seal it or anything I'm just putting it in there just to hold it and uh, just put a little bit around the top here that way this sucker will when I put it in there it'll stay in there when I stab it in it'll stay in there long enough for me to get that gooseneck on. about leaving that bracket put on there until until this one here got in my way oh can you see it can't really see it can you let me get you a better angle here can you see it now is it visible right here no nope, still ain't visible Man, let me let me go back over yonder way. All right, all right. Forget it. There we go. 
you see that's the clamp I cut off and this stupid thing right here you get your pliers up here and you get them every which way yeah they make special pliers for these things and I actually have a pair you know what why don't I try them I paid 30 bucks for them why don't I try them all right well there you go this is the Quinn and this is the long reach version where you can get on way back in there I figured they had the short ones and they had the long ones and I thought well you know what I can use the long ones where I could use the short ones but I can't use the short ones where I can use the long ones so you see what I did bought the long ones let's get them out of the package and let's see how they do well these here have the they have the little ratcheting doohickey on them here where once you uh, once you close them up they don't open back up so that that's a good feature let's see see if it'll work are you looking can you see it can you see it can you see it now can you see it now what about now now okay now I can block you whenever I get in front of the camera so you can see it fine right is that what you said okay here let's see it, oh there okay that's how you get it off well I guess it doesn't work too bad all right I still hate the clamp so but at least I got a tool for it okay so, I need to get some other hose clampage or, or get, the, uh, get the right hose clamps or both. So, we're going to do that. Well, I found some line and uh, it looks like it's about the right size. It's uh, 9.5 millimeters. We'll see. We'll see, that, that should work. With a little bit of WD-40, it seemed like it swung, swung on there pretty good. I'll shut that off in just a second, guys. Look at that. It goes right on there. I left it quite a bit long because uh, I don't know where I have to cut this and I don't want any problems. I found some hose clamps. Let me go shut this off. I basically had to turn that on to blow my line out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to snag this on there. Tighten her down. And then we'll cut it after we get it, get it on there. on there Woo. now I just need to tighten up that now where's my screwdriver I just had my screwdriver 
Oh, there it is. Alright. That one's on there and she's tight. Nice and tight. about that later and forget it never happened. Whether this hole goes in there. Well fellas, this is how much y'all mean to me. The, uh, the battery went dead in my phone, which is what I filmed on. And I went ahead and I charged it up and I waited so I could show you guys. Well, the way it wound up, that was a direct draw, a direct entry into my intake. So it was it was sucking air here, and it was sucking air through this port here because that hose was off in the back. So I'm gonna do my best to plug this up. I don't know where that hose goes to. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna look again when I put it back on, but I plugged this up here, and it's Bondo. I use Bondo on it, and that's just the way it's staying. I ain't doing nothing else with it. I ain't I'm not even gonna waste paint on this because this is plugged up and ain't never gonna be seen. So it's gonna be down there up, up underneath everything. And in case you all get all emotional about it. This here can be used, this Bondo can be used on plastic, wood, and metal, and it's very capable of plugging up this hole. So if you look on the, on the label, this is plastic body filler. So it's plastic anyway, fellas. Anyway, this is plugged up now and I'm fixing to put it back on. We ain't got much more to go. We're on the home stretch. Um, in case any of you uh, have been looking at everything I'm doing and watched the whole video, and I did put that nut on this bracket here on the bottom, so that's on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray up. I'm going to spray up where these go. That way, when I go to put these boots on, they will uh, be a little more cooperative than they were coming off. gonna remove all this crap.
full. They like you to bleed off these things here.